So before when we left off, we actually just fixed the tooltips so that we can actually uh, see the tooltips and all the new generated items here. But right now our save and load function doesn't work, or that's not totally correct because I think the save function actually works as it should. If I press save, it should work. But when I load, this one is empty because we don't have the right functionality yet. And I will also get a, um, a, a, a an exception here. I will just was not found. So I'm not sure what that is right now, but we'll look at it later if we still have that exception. So uh, let's jump into our script and we need to be into our in our inventory script and down at line about 300 something we have a load function and we have a save inventory function so just by looking at this it looks like everything actually should work fine and there's nothing I would like to change here right now unless we figure out that something doesn't work but if we look at our load function we have a bunch of things down here that doesn't really work right now because we outcome this before we just had to save our mana our health and our weapon but right now we need to take into account that we have some different weapons and different uh, consumables and items so basically I'm gonna remove this switch here and I am going to add a new item here so on top of the for loop I'm going to write an item called item equals null so this item here is going to be equal to the item we are trying to load so when we're trying to load an item we need to find it inside our um, item container which contains all the items but when we find an item we don't know if it's a um, if we don't know if it's a equipment or a consumable or a, a weapon so we need to look in all of our um, our lists to find the correct weapon or find the correct equipment that is so first of all we're gonna say game object loaded item equals instantiate there we go inventory manager dot instance dot item object so first of all we're gonna instantiate a new object when we're going to load something so this object is empty right now and there's nothing on it but we need to find the correct object inside our inventory um, item container and put it into this object and then put it into our inventory so first of all we're gonna check if um, item actually I'm not gonna call this item I'm gonna call it GMP just to rename it so if our temporary equals null which means we haven't found an item yet so then we're going to say temporary equals inventory manager dot instance uh, dot item container to look in the item container so we are saying we have an inventory manager we're going through the singleton instance we're going to look through the item container and then we're going to look through consumables we're going to try to find that item we want to load so we're going to look here and say item we are looking for item dot item name if that is equal to item name item so we need to find an item name here so the item name we are looking for we should actually be able to find it up here uh, somewhere let's try to look here we should find it here somewhere yeah we should use this one instead so here we should find the item name because for before we were looking for the item type and that was okay because we didn't we only had three types of items and it was okay to put a mana potion on a mana potion and a health potion on a health potion because both of them had different types so right now we need to rewrite this one we need to say string that item name equals split values one to get the item name so here we are actually finding the item name of the item we are trying to uh, load from our saved game so down here we are going to say well we're gonna look for that item in our um, consumables container and we're gonna try to find it with the function called find 
gonna say well item every time we find something in our consumables this is basically a for each loop we're gonna s look for that item that item name if that equals the current item name uh, so if it's equal to that item name we're trying to load so if that was true well then it would be temporary would be set to that item um, so if we find something temporary is not null anymore it's equal to the item which means that we can say if temporary is null down here again so if the code goes here and then if it doesn't find anything it jumps in here then we're going to do the exact same thing we're just going to look through and other collection. We're going to look through our equipment and then we're going to do the exact same thing. We are going to look through our weapons. So when the code comes out down here it must have found the item inside our uh, inside our, inside our um, one of our collections here. Um, so let's say our code jumps in, it looks here. Well it didn't find anything well then it looks here, then it found the item which means that temporary is not null anymore so it will skip this last part and then, then move on down here or it could be like this, it finds the item in the first one then it's not null anymore so it skips this one skips this one and jumps on down here so this basically makes sure that we are looking for the item inside every single um, every single collection that we have, I hope it makes sense so then we're going to say loaded item dot add component item script. We say loaded item dot get component um, item script dot item. So we're going to set the item to temporary because we just found the correct item right here, right? So we're going to set it to that new item we just created. And then we're going to say all slots index. So if you remember from before, this is the index where we want to put something in in our inventory, um, and all slots is all the slots we have in the inventory. Get component slot. That add item. Loaded item that get component item script. So this could be a little more a nicer code, but ah, we can always get back to it and then I want to destroy my loaded item because I don't want it in my game <clears throat> when I'm done with it I just want to add the item script to my inventory and I don't want to keep the game object I just created up here so that should actually be it as far as I'm concerned let's try it go back to our game and open the inventory and press load and as you can see all our items we had saved before is loaded we can try to save some other items let's try to pick up some different things here and we're going to save these four items rerun our game and we're going to load them there we go so now we have all our correct items in our inventory when we load them so now we have an updated save and load function. The next thing we need to handle is the way when we're dropping items on the ground. Because I have a feeling that we need to fix something there. Let's see if we load this and try to pick this one up and drop it. Not even sure if it dropped somewhere. What happens if I pick it up again? See, nothing happens when I pick it up. I can't even pick this up and there's like some, some reference uh, errors here. So we need to handle that differently, of course, because we changed a lot of things. Woohoo! yes so that's it for this part um, next part we're going to look at the dropping items and picking them back up